Yo, what's going on, guys? Well, MJ, so, okay, my eyes through the back with another video, and, uh, yo, the boy J. Cole decided to drop another, uh, well, not another one, uh, after his long hiatus, I should say, J. Cole finally decided to drop a track, hopefully it's a banger, um, I, 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 I like J. Cole, man, I think he is, you know, he's one of my favorite rappers, rappers. um, I just, I, I just, I mean, like, as of right now, like, like I, you know, he's one of my favorite rappers of all time, for sure, you know, inspirational, uh, you know, always speaks the truth and everything, I know I never, I don't think I ever really, I don't think I ever really reacted to J. Cole on my channel before, uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan of J. Cole and everything, I'm, I can't wait, hopefully, I'm still trying to hear more news about his album, I know he's supposed to be dropping a project called The Fall Off and everything like that, um, you know, J. Cole is very inspirational, man, he says one of these, you know, he speaks up the facts, he says probably one of the more, he probably has one of the more like deeper lyrics, man. Who always, you know, he always goes deep and always, you know, talks not not for the thing, you know, speak his mind about any, any like you know various different topic topics and everything, man. And uh, you know, like you know, like when he when he the way he speaks, like when he raps, bro, he really gives me that little stank look, man. He really be have you going, bro. Like yo, he be yo, J Cole can have you vibing, bro. You know, let's not forget what was it, twenty eighteen, dominated the feature game, dominated the feature game, bro. He dominated the feature game. What was it, 2018? Killing every feature that this man was on. He was the king of features, man. Dominating features, bro. Um, but I think the last album we heard from was uh, from J. Cole was from, what was it, something like that? Which was a pretty good, pretty good album. Not a bad album at all. Um, definitely one of my favorite albums. I think that album came out, what? I think that came out in 2018, 2017, I believe. Definitely one of my favorite albums in the, of that year, whenever it did come out. It was a pretty solid album. Nothing, nothing crazy, nothing like, ah. Uh, like blew mind blown, but it was definitely a pretty solid, solid album. I definitely did, you know, enjoy some bangers off of that album. You know what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing. The, I'm, I'm happy to hear some more J Cole music. I'm still, I, I'm still looking, look, looking forward to that album that's supposed to be coming out. Uh, I don't know if it was sometime this year. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so I'm really kind of disappointed in terms of albums this year. Albums haven't really been that good in terms of like 2020. And the future, future dropped a very, very good album. Um, you know, and I was probably, that's probably like my favorite, like probably one of my favorite. No, no, no. Denzel Curry dropped an album this year, I think. Um, I think it was Unlocked, that collab project. And uh, what the hell? I, I can't even remember. I don't know, if I see no, no. So actually, some um, some projects came out came out this year. Some good projects came out this year. Uh, what am I saying? So yeah, some good projects came out this year that I really enjoyed. But I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like, you know, the Baby's Project was album, album was freaking trash. I didn't enjoy that at all. I don't know, man. I'm ready to hear, you know, I'm I'm, look, I'm waiting for the name of some Kendrick, uh, Kendrick, the Kendrick album, J. Cole album for sure. Um, I know Kid Cuddy's will be dropping an album real soon. Um, so I, I'm a Cuddy Project. I'm going to go, I wonder how it's going to turn out. Uh, I, I, I'm a huge fan of Kid Cuddy as well. Um... I'm not sure if Travis is dropping. Oh, I'm, I'm ready to hear. I'm ready to hear. You know, like, like some. I'm ready to hear some of like some of the top guys. You know, who's top of the rap game. I'm ready to hear some music from them. But um, anyway, guys, I stand on topic here. You know, J Cole, uh, Snow on the Bluff official audio. So we're gonna see this is audio. Um, maybe this could be a track from an album that's gonna be supposed to be coming out real soon. Who knows, right? But let's listen to it. Let's see what we got. Come on, J Cole. Right. Hold up. There's text there, I see. I see text. You guys see text right there? Hold on. Oh, snap. Niggas be thinking I'm deep, intelligent, fooled by my college degree. My IQ is average, there's a young lady out there, she way smarter than me. I scroll through her timeline in these wild times and I started to read. Okay, she mad up. at these crackers, she mad at these capitalists, mad at these murder police. She mad at my niggas, she mad at our ignorance, she wear a heart on the sleeve. Mm. She mad at the celebrities, low key I be thinking she talking about me. Now I ain't no dummy to think I'm above criticism, so when I see something that's valid, I listen, but shit, there's something about the queen's tone that's bothering me. She strike me as somebody blessed enough to grow up in conscious environment with parents that know about the struggle for liberation. And in turn, they provide it with a perspective and awareness of the system and a fairness that afflicts them and a the clearest understanding of what we got to do to get free. And the frustration that feels the worst seems to come from the fact that most people don't see. Just because you woke and I'm not, that shit ain't no reason to talk like you better than me. How you gonna leave when you attacking the very same niggas that really do need the shit that you're saying? Instead of conveying you holier, come help us get her to speed. Shit, it's a reason. It took like 200 years for our answers, it's just to get free. These shackles be locking the mental way more than the physical. I look at freedom like trees, can't grow for us like overnight. Hit together and slowly start planting your seeds. 
knees. Fuck is the point of you preaching your message to those that already believe what you believe. I'm also fuck that retweet. Most people are sheep. You got all the answers, but how you gonna reach? If I can make one more suggestion respectfully, I would say it's more effective. Hey, Understanding the time and love and patience that's needed to grow. This change is inevitable, but ain't none of us seen this before. Therefore, we just gotta learn everything as we go. I struggle with thoughts on the daily, feel like a slave to somehow to save. And the coins to buy me about a slavery. Think it just made me in my pursuit to make life so much better for me and my babies. I done betrayed the very same people that look at me like I'm some kind of a hero because of the series that's next to the commas. But look here, I promise I'm not who you think. Ran into this nigga outside of the store yesterday. He said something that had me like, wait. He was like, cold. Appreciate what you've been doing, my nigga. That's real. But damn, why I feel faker than snow on the bluff? Maybe because deep down I know I ain't doing enough. Ah, it's big, it's big love. Big love. It's calling it fake love. So you can just talk about you know, like the hard times and everything, you know, the racism and everything, you know, uh, you know how you know what was like the what's like coming like you know talking about the slaves and everything, and what's like the you know, coming up coming up you know coming up poor and everything, fake love, you know, you know J Cole's supposed to be talking about a lot of different things. I enjoyed it. So, I don't, I, so I'm guessing he's done rapping. Now the chorus is kind of taking this way, kind of carrying out the track. Not a bad track at all. Um, really enjoyed what J. Cole had to say about that. You know, you know delivering an important message. Uh, just in case you guys didn't hear me, I, I think why, you know, from what purpose I got the video, you know, J. Cole's talking about you know, slavery, the struggle and everything. You know, what's it like coming, you know, coming up from the poor, you know, coming from the less fortunate and everything, and, uh, you know, fake love and everything. So that's pretty much what, like, the message I got from this, uh, these, from this um, audio, from this song. Um, you know, very, you know, very, you know, you know, J. Cole, he, you know, he raps about that kind of stuff. You know, he always raps about that kind of stuff, and he speaks. You know, that's what he represents. You know, that's what he, you know, he always rapped about that kind of stuff when he needed to. You know, always talk, talks about personal stuff. You know, that's the one thing I like about J. Cole. Like, he always, he's not afraid to dive deep into, you know, what's going on in today's society and everything. You know, when he wants to rap, when, like, one thing like, one thing about him is that when he really wants to, you know, you know, rap and talk, you know, rap, I like, believe, you know, dig deep, like, he, he'll do it. You know, he'll switch it up in an instant. That's one thing I really love about, you know, his music and everything. Um... You know, as J. Cole has gotten older, he, he became, you know, way more, you know, mature, and like, way more wise with everything that he says. You know, he just got better. He adapted, you know, to the time and everything. That's pretty much how I look at him. J. Cole, was, as he got older, he was able to adapt to the time, adapt, you know, like, readjust himself as a rapper and as a person as well. He's kind of, he's able to adjust himself whenever he needs to and stuff like that.